Hive was going to make it. So I just kind of let them do their own thing and... So I noticed the other day the bees were doing pretty good. So I'm going to take a walk out this morning before it gets too hot. I'm going to go check on the bees and see how they're doing. Yeah, we haven't showed you guys yet. We got four turkeys. They're very loud. One trick I learned, I'm going to say thank you to Justin Rhodes for it. Great idea. Call this box right here the Mama Hen. These turkeys are so loud all day long, all night long. Tried it one night, we put a box over the turkeys and they were quiet. So observe nature and that's what the Mother Hen does. She sits on our turkeys at our any chicks at night and keeps them nice and quiet so we tried it at work. Come on, pull it up. What? I'm checking the bees. Let's go. down so you guys can see in there a little better. I like to try to leave around the hive as natural as possible. See if that helps them or not. I don't know. A little bit of honeycomb on top. That's telling me that the hive's doing good. And I need to put in another hive box. Take off the feeder. These bees are just doing awesome. This hive is slamming. In springtime, there's barely any bees in here. I wasn't too certain that the hive was going to make it. So I just kind of let them do their own thing, and now look at the hive. It's jamming. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna run up to the house and get a few more supplies. I'm pretty excited. This spring, this hive was pretty small and she was alive, but wasn't doing too good. I kind of wrote the hive off and I said, well, I'm not gonna do too much with it this year. If I get if the bees survive, that's awesome. We can use them for pollinating. So we got enough stuff going on. I'm not gonna worry about getting any more little package of bees or anything. So yesterday we were letting the pigs out. We were looking down here and you could just see the bees flying around. So I said, oh, tomorrow morning I gotta go check it out. And this is the best case scenario I could have hoped for. So we're gonna put another, we're gonna put the queen excluder on and a box of honey on here. And we'll check it in another couple of weeks, see how they're doing. We have two more boxes in the basement. So if we need to, we can add some more boxes on. We'll be coming into the dry part of the summer when it gets hot and a lot of the pollen and nectar dries up. So I'll just keep an eye on it. We probably won't be putting another box on anytime soon, but I'll keep an eye on it and come the end of the year season, I'll check it again and we'll keep adding boxes as needed. Now this right here is a queen excluder. So these holes in here are big enough for the worker bees to get through, but they're not big enough for the queen bee to get through because the queen bee is bigger. So that'll keep her from going up and laying eggs into this box.
Now I have this set up inside a dog kennel. And then I put a ratchet strap over it. We are in black bear country. And we do know that black bears love honey. I haven't had an issue yet. And I don't want to have an issue either. So this is all just precautionary measures. So even though we went in the hive and we had it open for a while, it's still nice and calm. I really didn't even need the smoke this morning. Thanks guys for watching. It's probably the best case scenario I could hope for with the bees. I'll try to keep you updated on them. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked the video, share it, it really helps. Like I always say, we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.